So earlier on, I introduced you to pasta and um, manipulating pasta when it was hot. Um, and the next exercise I'm going to show you is working with a moulded um, milk container. So first thing I did was um, took the milk container, cleaned it out and then started chopping into it. I initially thought that I would use a scalper for that, but the reality is this old pair of dressmaking scissors was the best solution. So I'm interested in the extruded shapes that I can take from here. So if you can just start cutting and take the areas out that you need. I'm looking for something that's going to do the top of this one and that shape and this shape also interest me. So I'll continue with that later on. So what I've got here is I've got an interpretation of this one. So I took the shape that was already there and uh, cut around it, used a sharpie pen when I started getting closer to the shape that I wanted and then at the moment I'm just using um, double sided sellotape to stick them both together and I'll probably paint these. I'll probably coat them in PVA and then paint them um, with acrylic uh, so that I can get a little bit more stability to them. The other thing that I was investigating was using some heat and actually manipulating the shapes. <clears throat> you need to be really careful when you're doing this. It's not something that you would want to do um, if you weren't in a well-ventilated -vent space. But if you just hold it really, really far away from it, you'll see that the plastic bends into the shape that you want it to be. Um, you can then hold it for a little bit of time or I'm thinking about maybe putting it into ice. I'm not sure. So that's as far as I've got at the moment. Um, it's held the shape quite well. Not majorly well, but quite well. Um, so yeah, I've got a couple of shapes that I'm playing about with. And um, I'll post another video when these move on. Thank you.